Yo mga kababayan It's your favorite balikbayan itim Here with an episode of Teka Minute A mini vlog series where we talk about Kwentuhan, chismis and all that ek, ek. Today I want to spend a minute Talking about corruption in Philippine politics Specifically at the local barangay level So a quick oversimplification of Philippine politics Is that we have the overarching national government Then underneath that we have city governments Here at least in Metro Manila And then we have the smallest The barangay or local government level Now the thing about how this hodgepodge of different government levels work Is that although we may have something at the very top Like President Duterte telling us to do X, Y, and Z It really depends on the local barangay level As to what you're really going to be allowed to do or not do We've really seen that play out here during the pandemic These last year and a half where it really depends on how strict your barangay is going to be with whether you're allowed to go around, if you need to carry a quarantine pass, if you need to wear a face shield. All of those local rules that really affect daily life are basically decided by the smallest level of government, your local barangay. This system seems to work great on paper if your local barangay leaders basically have their sheet together and are really working to serve your needs as their constituents. But that's a big if. And if your barangay is anything like our barangay here at Commonwealth, you'll know that your leaders basically don't have their together. This looks like your barangay leaders being more concerned about the projects they get to put under their name that shows like they did something rather than doing something that your community actually needs. Them not serving your community or your neighborhood if they know you all didn't vote for them in the last local election and it looks like your local leaders not wearing a face mask in front of everybody even though they spend all of their time telling people to wear face masks because of how dangerous it is and making you pay a fine if you aren't wearing one. I personally think this is an instance of what happens when you throw Western institutions like American democracy at an Eastern culture like that of the Philippines. Our indigenous values like Pakikipagkapwa are kind of coming into their worst forms under these foreign forms of government. Now, of course, this is an oversimplification because I only have a minute to talk about all this. So all of that to say, until next time, it's ingat and salamat mga kababayan.